Of that first. Then the smallest prime number which has two factors one and only two is two. So two is the smallest even prime number. So leave two and cross out all the even numbers in second column. The second column there's two and even numbers are there. Two is a prime number. So leave that and close out all the even numbers in the second column. Next, the third column, we have 3. 3 is a prime number because the factor of 3 is 1 and 3. Only two factors, so 3 is a prime number. Leave 3 and check the other numbers. 9, it's a multiple of 3. Then 15, it's a multiple of 3. 21, it's a multiple of 3. So this third column numbers or multiples of 3, so Multiples can't be a prime number, so close out all the numbers on the third column. Next, the fourth column can see all or even numbers in this fourth column. So close out all the even numbers because even numbers have more than two factors, so it, it is not a prime number. Next, next column, it's 5. 5 is a prime number because its factor is 1 and 5. Only two factor. 5 has only two factors, so it's a prime number. Leave 5 and cross out the multiples of 5. Multiples of 5 are 10, 15, 20, 25. So you can see the 5 multiples diagonal. So cross out diagonal. Next 5 multiple after 25, it's 30. Then 35, 40, 45. 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55. Next 5 multiple is... 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85. Then the next multiple is 90, 95, 100, 100. Next, the last column which is 6 and 6 multiples. So cross out all the multiples of 6. Next, check for 7. 7 is here and 7 is a prime number because the factors of 7 is 1 and 7. Only two factors, so it's a prime number. Leave 7 and cross out the multiples of 7. Multiples of 7 is 14, 21, 28, 35, 42. It's already closed out. So once again, we'll do that. Then followed by 42. Next 7 multiple is 49, 56, 63, 70, 77 and 84. And next 7 multiple is... 91 and 98. Yes, that's it. We have closed out all the numbers. Now, the leftover numbers or the prime numbers from 1 to 100. The numbers which are not closed out in this table are the prime numbers. So, there are 25 prime numbers from 1 to 100 and they are 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, 19, 23, 29, 31, 37, 41, 43, 47, 53, 59, 61, 67, 71, 73, 79, 83, 89 and 97. So totally there are 25 prime numbers. Even numbers is not a prime number as it has more than two factors. So let's cross out all the even numbers on the second column. Then the fourth column. Fourth column numbers are also even numbers. So cross out all the even numbers. 
Next, the sixth column numbers, also even numbers. So, cross out all the even numbers. Next, the fifth column. The fifth column numbers, if we check the fifth column numbers, let's check that 1 plus 0 plus 5. The sum of digits of this number is 6. 6 is a multiple of 3. The next row has 1 plus 1 plus 1. The sum of digits is 3. It's a multiple of 3. Next, 1 plus 1 plus 7, it's 9, multiple of 3. So, this fifth row column, fifth column, numbers or multiples of 3. So, cross out all the numbers on the fifth column, which are multiples of 3. Next, in this table, we have to cross out the 3 multiples, 5 multiples, 7, 11 and 13 multiples. So, here we have crossed out 3 multiples. Next, 5 multiples, we have to cross out. So, the first 5 multiples from 101 to 200 is 105. 105, 110, 115, 120, 125. Cross out that. Then, the 5 multiple is 130, 135, 140, 145, 150, 155. Next 5 multiple is 160, 165, 170, 175, 180, 185. And next 5 multiple is 190, 195, 200. So 5 multiples now closed out. Next, come to 7 multiples. 7 multiples starts from 105. 105 is already closed out. Next 7 multiple is 112. It's closed out. Next 7 multiple is 119. We have to close out that. So 119 plus 112. 26, then 133, 140, 147, 154. So, which is diagonal. 7 multiples, it's diagonal, cross out that. Next 7 multiple is 161, then 168, 175, 182, 189, 196. So, the last 7 multiple is 196. Now, we have crossed out 7 multiples. Next, 11 multiples. So, 11, 10 is 110. Then, it's already closed out. 11 11 is 121. We have to close out 121. Then, 11 12 is it's a even number. It's already we have closed. Then, 11 13 is 143. 143 we have to close out. 11 13 is 143. We have to close out that. Then, 11 14 is it's a even number. We have closed out. 11 15 is 165. We have crossed out already that. Then 11 17 is 11 16 is it's even number. We have crossed out. 11 17 is 187. 187 we have to cross out. Then 11 18 is 198. It's even number. We have already crossed out. Now 11 multiples we have crossed. Next 13 multiples. 13 nines are 117. It's already closed out. 13 tens are it's even number. We have already closed out. Then 13 elevens are 143. It's already closed out. 13 twelves are 156. It's even number already closed out. 13 thirteens are 169. We have to cross out. Then 13 fourteens are it's even number. Already closed out. 13 fifteens are 195. It's already closed out. So, we have closed out all the numbers. Now, the leftover numbers are the prime numbers from 101 to 200. The numbers which are not closed out and which are shown in red color are the prime numbers from 101 to 200. And the total 21 prime numbers.
prime numbers add up to 100. So, out of the three numbers, one number should be an even number. And the only even prime number is 2. So, one number is 2. The remaining two numbers should be, the sum of the remaining two numbers has to be 2 plus 19 and 8. So, these two numbers summation should be 98. By trial and error, the 31 plus 67 gives you 98. So, 98 plus 2 is 100. So, the three prime numbers are 2, 31 and 67.